My News 26 and CCTV. It's high school basketball. Coming to you tonight from Cadillac High School. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Cadillac High School, site of tonight's second of our double header here on Friday Night Hoops. As we've got the Cadillac Vikings boys taking on the Gaylord Blue Devils in a Big North basketball action, Big North Conference basketball action. And this is a rematch between two teams that played the second game of the season. Kevin, Kevin Gregory, Jay Simon, sorry about that. Cadillac comes into this game five and six, Gaylord just two and seven. The Vikings getting the Blue Devils on the road. Again, as mentioned in that second game of the season, it was a 57-49 game, but Gaylord actually led that game 33-30 going into the fourth quarter, but they struggled uh, with keeping the Vikings off the line. Vikings knocked down 10 of 13 in the fourth quarter to salt that one away, but the Blue Devils, they've got some size on this team. Tristan Smith, Jordan Gupinski, 6 6 6 7. They held the, the Vikings to just five points in the third quarter. Couldn't sustain that in the fourth, and it's going to be interesting to see what they can do tonight. We don't know a whole lot about the Blue Devils, but any team with size, you've got to figure against a Viking team that's decidedly undersized is probably going to attack down low. Yeah, I always like to see rematch games. It's one thing to see what the coaches do differently, but oddly enough, Cadillac's done really well against size this year. They've got Gaylord on the road. Petoskey, their shortest player was 6'4". They went 6'9 across the board. And Cadillac seems to do well against those games. And I think one of the factors is guard play for the team with the size to see if they can get it down low to the big fellas. Yeah, similar to our first game tonight. This is a doubleheader here on Friday night. If you're watching this, you may not be aware of that fact. But Cadillac Viking girls have Kylie Christensen in the middle, but their guard play is really but what's helped them on their recent winning streak. And meanwhile, these Vikings, uh, they opened with three wins, lost six in a row, but they've won their last two. They got Petoskey 40 to 36, and they just beat Mason County Central 51 to 37. And they're trying to find a little bit of a rhythm there as well. Their guard play is pretty much gonna be key tonight without question. We wanna make sure that we thank Munson Healthcare Cadillac Rehab Services for their support of these broadcasts here on 26 Sports and CCTV. This broadcast also brought to you in part by Pizza Plus, Cadillac Tire, and High Point Cadillac GMC, the national anthem and opening tip coming up just a moment. <laughs> 